Ryzen, 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 Ryzen. Don't ask me how many times I have to say Ryzen, 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 Ryzen 7, 1700X at a $400. Ryzen 1700 at a $329. Beat the crap. Beat the crap out of i7 6800K and i7 7700K. Intel nowhere to run. Intel nowhere to run. Stop crying like a baby. It doesn't really matter how hard you cry. Stop doing your dirty tactics. It doesn't really matter how many emails you send. It doesn't really matter how many time you ask stupid sponsor who are sponsored by you to show you the Ryzen review before publishing. There will be a lot of your sponsor crap on the YouTube, on the web, which will try to batch the Ryzen. But we fan are here to defend. Here to defend. To be honest with you, that's a quite nice rap. Now, before I can continue, I want to throw you some benchmark on your face. Again, the camera is running on so as you can see now my opinion the Ryzen R7 I mean the Ryzen 7 
800X is one of the best video editing, video rendering, 4K or 8K rendering CPU out there in the market. Now, if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget, I would be telling you go with the AMD Ryzen 7 7300 without the X at a $329 price. As you can see, the performance is like very little difference. I mean, compared to a $70 price point, I could not recommend a 1700X. Again, 1700X is a skip. Again, if you want, I mean, high performance, go with the 800X, 1700X is a skip for me. I could not recommend, especially for gaming, I could not recommend, especially even for video day. I don't think it's a little bit harder to recommend. I will be telling you spend the 70 bucks. I mean buying a better motherboard or buying like a more RAM, buying extra 60 gigabyte of RAM. I will be telling you spending the money on the GPU, especially I mean buy the RX 480 with the 8 gigabyte. Buy an R. I mean for example like RX 480 around currently the I mean the price sometimes go up or sometimes go down. Currently it's like 240 dollar on Amazon. The RX 480 is I mean selling for right now the MSI one. So I mean pick up the $329 AMD Ryzen 7, the $1700, buy another, you have a solid hardcore gaming rig machine to be honest with you. First thing you need to understand that, I mean the 17, the i7 1700K, the 770K, which is a 4 core CPU and an 8 thread, where the Ryzen R7 1700 is an 8 core, you know, understand that game currently game benefit from six core it doesn't really matter it's virtual core or the physical core but games benefit like 70 percent more with physical core than the virtual core so it may only 30 percent game benefit from the virtual core where for example uh battlefield one or battlefield one two whatever the upcoming next battlefield is going to be your gta 6 where they require minimum six core mostly the Ryzen 1700X or 1700-1800X are going to benefit. It's going to give you a higher frame rate. A lot of people are complaining that the frame rate is lower. How many? 5 frame rate lower? It's not like we're talking about below 50 or below 60. We're talking about 100. About 100. Even your monitor cannot display about 100 frame rate unless you have a 120 hertz or something like that monitor. Even it cannot display, right? Then why you're crying? You cannot see something. I mean, you're crying or um, like bitching and moaning, which you cannot see. Um, it's not like again about if, for example, like AMD i7 is giving you like, for example, like 78 frame. Even the 1700 is giving you the AMD Ryzen 7 1700 is giving you only like 70 or like three or four or five below frame. Doesn't really matter in upcoming games because you understand that the current games are not optimized for Ryzen. That's why you you are getting very similar performance when there will be new games when I mean more games are going to benefit from native I mean the Witcher 4 definitely need 8 code and 8 native code to run if you want a gaming CPU for next 5 year 4 year go with the Ryzen to be honest with you here's why if even for example like this like the one of the best graphical setting crisis 4 for example just crisis 4 is coming it required like I mean it required like 10 core 10 cores so the of course definitely the i7 could not run even in a virtual it only have 8 core but the ryzen 7 1700 or 1700x will be having 16 virtual cores still it can run still it can run the performance will be no not very much faster but still it can run if you have again if you want to buy a cpu every year go with intel which you I mean most people like to do I mean they want to spend their money rather than spend their money on the graphic card at the end or I would not I mean come close to Intel in the desktop market don't get me wrong I like Intel especially in a laptop market but now Intel is trying to do their dirty tactics I mean who I mean I don't know what happening behind Intel try to build a better CPU price performance we can understand that AMD always remain the king when it comes to the price per, per, per performance. But don't start crying. So at the end of the day, if you want a future proof, again, I'm telling you like for Witcher 4, Crisis 4, if they, for example, like they will be like 10 core, I may recommend requirement, not minimal recommend. Only the Ryzen 1700X or 1700-1800X can benefit from it.
so at the end of the day i will recommend the amd ryzen 1700 at a price point of 329 dollars so this is a must buy now it was me your chimia geek i hope you liked also let me know are you going to buy the ryzen with the rx480 graphic card or you are going to wait for the rx580 personal opinion wait for the rx580 which is near the corner amd did like a big mistake they did not release the rx580 simultaneously because yeah rx480 still is on the market so in stock they want to clear the inventory and also they want to like improve the whatever i mean the performance of the upcoming rx580 yeah if i were you i will be just buying the cpu right now and then i will be waiting like for few months because rx 580s it will be like in june or july again this is not confirmed this is still a rumor but if you cannot wait going with the rx 480 is not wrong i mean 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte again it's not wrong i can easily recommend this so it was me or jimmy okay check the links in our description box below bye